We are going to solve this question integration sin x divided by sin x plus cos x dx. So this integration is of this form. This integration is of this form. Here I'll show you. So it is of this form. So any integration which is falling in this forms, we have to take the numerator equals to constant into denominator plus another constant into differentiation of the denominator plus another constant. So here we have to take in that way. So we can re read here. Express the numerator in the integral equal to L into denominator plus M into the differentiation of the denominator plus N where L, M, N are constants. So we have to determine this constant. So I'm going to follow this procedure here. So first I will take the numerator here. So this is the solution. So I'll take the numerator as sine X which is equal to L into the denominator. So sine X plus cos X plus take another constant you differentiate the denominator so you differentiate the denominator now so if i differentiate the denominator differentiation of sine is cos so we get cos x differentiation of cos is minus sine x so we get here minus sine x plus a constant n another constant n our aim is to determine what is l m n n n okay so in this way, we are going to find, we are going to determine what is LMN. So, first of all, we uh, will equate, okay, equating, equating the coefficient of sine x on both sides. Let us equate the coefficient of sine x on both sides. On both side okay so i'm going to equate the equation coefficient of sine x on both side we have so here coefficient of sine x is one so we get one equal to here the coefficient of sine x we get l and here we get the coefficient of sine x to be minus m okay so we have one equal to l minus m so this you can take as equation one then we'll equate equating the coefficient of cos x coefficient of cos x on both side on both side so let us equate the coefficient of cos x on both side we have here the coefficient of cos x there is no cos x so it will be zero on the right side so zero equal to here we get L, from here we get M plus M, so L plus M. So from this we can say L equal to minus M. So you can take this as equation 2. Now we equate the constant term on both sides. Equating the constant, constant term on both sides on both sides so equate the constant term on both sides we have here there is no constant term so it will be zero so zero equal to here there is no constant term or are in terms of so constant term only in this side is n so n will be what it is zero so we got n to be zero now we'll try to solve equation one and two and we try to find what is l and m so equation one implies we have one equal to l minus m so in place of l let me put as minus m by using two using two we get this using equation two we get this so from here it's equal to minus two m so what is your m m is equal to minus half so we get m to be minus half then let us find what is L. So we'll put this value in equation 2. So this implies L equal to minus half M. So minus of minus half 
that is equal to half so we get l equal to half so here we have l equal to minus m and here we get l equal to half so we get here l to be nothing but it is half so let us proceed the integration here we have the integration as sine x by sine x plus cos x dx so this integration can be written as sine x is equal to l so how much we got l l we got as half so half the denominator so the denominator is sine x plus cos x then plus m m is how much we got here minus half so minus half differentiation of the denominator so we have here cos x minus sine x plus n and we got here zero so divided with sine x plus cos x dx so this can be the we can separate this one so if you separate this we get half sine x plus cos x divided with sine x plus cos x dx minus half integration cos x minus sine x divided with sine x plus cos x dx because zero we no need to worry about that now this and this get cancelled so we get here 1 by 2 integration of dx minus half cos x minus sin x divided with sin x plus cos x dx so let us take this as t the down one whatever we have we have let us take as t so we get sin x plus cos x so if we differentiate this okay so dt by dx equal to what do we get here sin x is cos x differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so we have what here so dt by cos x minus sin x equal to dx so there we know here the integration of dx is x minus half let me write here same so cos x minus sin x this i have substituted as t so what is dx dx is dt by cos x minus sin x so this and this will be removed so what we are getting here 1 by 2x minus half so integration of 1 by t is nothing but log t so we get here log t plus integration constant since it is an indefinite integral so we get 1 by 2x minus half log what is t t we have taken as sin x plus cos x so we we'll substitute this value here so sin x plus cos x plus integration constant thank you